Okay, so this is setting up OCI email delivery step by step. I'll do a follow up email uh, video where I set up the domain management from GoDaddy to activate the DKIM, but let's go through this piece here. So we're going to go to user settings, enter cloud account. Go to you, the specified user. Go to SMTP credentials under the resource resources pane. A max of two SMTP credentials are allotted per user. If you need more, you'll have to create another user. So let's generate that credential. Copy down the username and password for it, which I'll do now. will not be shown again so it's good to do next we will create our email domain so go to email delivery, email domains, create, just type, uh, type in it the domain that you own here that you want to set up the email delivery service for click create domain. Additionally, you can do tagging. Uh, after you, you set up your domain, next you need to set up your DKIM, which is an email authentication technique that allows the receiver to verify the owner of an email domain. So let's click into our domain, add a DKIM, give it a pre prefix, short region code, and the date. Next, you'll want to generate your DKIM record, copy the CNAME and the CNAME value down, and you can optionally have tagging keys and values. See, so yeah, I've done that here. And then once I go in the GoDaddy and change the authoritative name servers, this will become active. John Teacher? And then we will, next, we will add a record. So we will go to zones. Go into our zone, add a record. Is this Coca Cola and coffee? It's so good. Really? Yeah. Alright. It's fantastic. Never seen that before. Vanilla and caramel? Yeah. Let's try it. C name. We're going to do a C name, basic, go with the target. And then hit create. I've already created one and only allows you to create one. That's how you create a record. Then we will go to approved senders. If you have approved senders in the root compartment, they'll need permissions to set up the uh, for tenancy wide permissions. So go to approved senders. That way the DKIM doesn't discard the, the sender. Now we need to configure SPF on our approved sender domain. And uh, it allows you to state which email servers are permitted to send email on your behalf. View SPF. And we're going to copy down the SPF record for Americas because we're going to have to add that record to our domain.
copy that down and then go back to zones and click into our zone add a record txt file and copy that down for america the americas Now we'll go back to email delivery. Oh, we need to publish these changes. But I think it's because I have another time and this time. You see the records updated successfully. These are our public endpoint, our ports, and our security, which is TLS. And now you are ready to send mail.